Good afternoon. Good afternoon. God's blessings. Good evening. Soldiers for Christ Discipling Ministries, our local body here in Newport Ritchie, Florida, and also our extended family online. So I've been trying to work in the Friday um, Bible studies that we talked about doing, coming online, doing it live video, and also being able to go to um, download it to the YouTube so I don't understand a lot about this but we're working on it and it looks like the downloads are now going back over to YouTube there was a break in that but that's happening again so as far as Bible studies go um, I'm still searching the Lord on that for online maybe once a week or however God would put it together but for now we have, I wanted to just put this out here and um, make sure we all know, we have in building services on Sundays. The worship is not live, it's on YouTube. It's approximately an hour, about 11.15 till 12.15, 12.30, and then we go into a very in-depth word message for the week. So it's it usually runs an hour and a half just in the word. Um, very deep just deep get as much as we can because we don't have a midweek bible study here that's why i want to start to do something online um, we moved from tampa and we're building a platform here on social media and also in the location of another county that we're at now which would be pasco so with that said because we don't have a midweek bible study in-house sunday bible study is a little bit longer so just, I want to make sure everybody knows that about our Sunday service here in Newport Ritchie. We do have in-house services Sunday. Again, that's with the worship. It's YouTube. It is not live worship, but it's, it's about an hour of YouTube, um, contemporary worship, praise from about 11.15 till right around 12 15 12 30 and then we start the message at 12 45 and that usually goes hello blessings blessings that message usually goes till oh gosh 12 45 there's some announcements things like that till one but the word actually goes till 2 30 at least so just be ready if you come in house um 65 20 main street newport ritchie florida and we also have Friday nights. It is, uh, I like to call it prayer closet room, but it's a healing room service where it just be like if you're in your own space with the Lord, we play some worship, whatever the Holy Spirit puts on our heart. We play that in the background, some candles, and then we just intimately, individually, personally, invite the Lord to do what he needs to do in us personally. So it's not like a healing service where ministers are coming around touching or giving words or anything like that. It is like just an open atmosphere that's been prayed over, heavily prayed over, anointed, and just as ready and available for each one of us to experience what we need in the Lord personally. That's Friday nights, five o'clock. And we don't get here early, so even in our um, Sunday services, we're pretty much to the time. So if we say five, it's five when we're pulling up and getting in. The same thing with uh, Sundays, worship, 1115, and then the word, 1245. So um, again, the address is 60, 6520 Main Street, and that's Newport Ritchie, Florida. And those are the two services. On Friday nights, we're usually here from about you know, five to six thirty. You know, if the Lord wanted to go longer with a person individually, then we would respect that and yield to that. But pretty much we get started and we just have our own time with him and the atmosphere has been set apart for him to work with each one of us and in our hearts. So I'll thank you for the hugs and the, the care in the hearts. I like that. That's awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about tonight and we're not gonna be on here long again please stay tuned um, on Facebook or YouTube. Go ahead and like the page and then 
there's a place for you to update your notifications. So I guess when I go on live or anytime the services go live, you'll get a notification. Um, sometimes I think it's delayed like three, four minutes, but you'll get a notification. So as I start to do, any of us in here, not just me, but maybe somebody else in our congregation, as we start to do live, on Facebook, on social media, and YouTube, you'll get that notification, and we will start doing some more things as the Spirit leads. Hopefully, we'll get into maybe an online once a week um, Bible study. I've been entertaining the idea of Zoom, where our congregation that meets here can actually have sign on to Zoom, download it, and we can go on to Zoom live. So I've been I've been thinking about that because then it would cross over from StreamYard to Facebook and you would be able to interact with us as a body of believers doing a Bible study. So this is just brief and I wanna, um, oh hi, God's blessings, oh blessings. Look, I love the hearts and all the hugs and stuff. That's really nice. I've been praying, Darlene, I hope everything's uh, working out okay. I have been praying extra time. Not just, I, I mean, I know you requested it, but for all of us, just, yeah, overtime prayer, because I know we're all going through things, and um, this time of where we're at with God is uh, requires more prayer, I believe, and God has put on my heart the reading of the Word and prayer just to really dive into that and be con regular and consistent with it every day. So what I'm going to talk about right now, thank you for joining. Um, I'm also going to do a little update later on this, maybe on my personal page. This, the book, I know some of you saw. Um, oh, you're welcome, darling. God bless you, Mike, your family. All open windows of heaven, miracles for you. Lots of answers, amen. Uh, so we did, on my wall, I mentioned this. This is still the proof copy, but I did order several copies. Um, so this is... A book that God had put on my heart to put out there it is not something new this is called the excellence of God's love and it has to do with our walk in God because he is excellent so it's all about him but the changes that happen to us you know because we're his workmanship so he's working on us that gift of the Holy Spirit and the life of Christ when we come into salvation is to bring us to a place of bearing fruit and good works coming out of us so others can be drawn and be led to the Lord through our testimony and our witness. So, and there's more to it than that, but that's just a briefing. Now, a lot of people, again, this is the front, there's the back. This is just a proof, but the they're all coming in now. Um, I want to let everybody know this is from 2013. So in 2013, the Lord impressed on my heart for the beginning of that year, a new year message. And you'll read a little bit about that if you order the book or if you were there in 2013 in the building with us. The reason one of my, my desires was to be able to put this together for each one that was there. So. Um, unless you want to buy it and order it for a family member or friend, if you were actually physically in the building in 2013 to 2014, then you're going to get a, a copy. Everybody's asking me if I'm going to sign it, so I, I'm like, okay. Uh, and I'm, that's very humbling to me. I'm not looking to um, yeah, take it anywhere but where God wants to. So the book, the book is a... It is exactly 13 months of sermons. The sermons are from a time when we were in ministry and the Lord had put a certain word at the beginning of the year on my heart and also a lot of people that were there that Sunday got confirmation. So it is messages. It's not just for us in 2013, but it's been put together now. And I believe that from what I had an editor help me to edit it and she did a great job, an absolutely great job. But where what she had put on the back is that they are in chronological order, but you as the reader can actually flip through and do it in any order. And it is a tool that's gonna help us grow in our walk with the Lord as we study out 
the, a lot of scriptures and biblical principles in it to the excellence of God and his love. So again, I know a lot of people, when I put it on my Facebook wall, they were like, oh, she wrote a book. And I didn't want to mislead anybody thinking that, did it come out of the cancer journey? Did it, you know, was it recently? No, um, I have been blogging since 2006 online. I used to have a daily devotional on WordPress. Um, at one time, I think a lot of my blogs, WordPress, MySpace, um, our, our website, which I messed up. That's why I'm not touching anything. <laughs> I'm like, here, you go ahead and put this and stuff because I, I literally lost an entire website with hundreds and probably a thousand or so messages where people could go in there and read for free and get a devotion every day and I mean so inspiring and blessed of the Lord and I don't have all that anymore but this is part of what was still in my computer so it was from that year um, and I was at a good place to be able to put it together to be able to sit down with it when I was diagnosed with the cancer and I was not at my full-time job anymore. God put on my heart to go through it and just um, get some help with it and put it together. So it's not just for the people that were in the building in 2013, but there is a copy, each one of them. Everybody that was there, I have a list of names. Everybody that was there will get a copy. And then it's for anybody who just wants to grow, um, just wants some, um, maybe just some edifying that, it is the excellence of God that anything we do for him and where we end up arriving in him is in response to everything that he is. Amen. So I want to just go through. I said, Lord, I'm going to come on here and just do just a little bit so that we know um, a little bit about the book. Okay. It's the sermons go from one to 13 and it's all about the walk of excellence taken through the scriptures um, a lot of it has to do with what God has said, others before us, and then us, how we are to respond. And it, there's some practical, just practical studies in here. There's some questions to answer in our hearts on our own. I will uh, go just to chapter one, just to give you a little bit of an idea. Uh, Genesis 1, 26 through 28, the topic sermon for that particular month was our introduction to the walk of excellence as God's way. And on Genesis 1, 26 through 28, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the cattle, all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he, him, male and female. And then where it goes from there, the walk of excellence is the way of God for us, his way, not ours. When he says created in his likeness or image, he is not speaking of a physical appearance, but is rather referring to being like him in nature and character. I like to call it God-likeness. His purpose is to transform us into the likeness of his word. Jesus said, but small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few find it, Matthew seven fourteen, And then it just keeps going on from there. So much can be said about excellence, starting with one main truth. God is excellent, and excellence is who God is. So you'll see these points in the book. What I'm gonna, what I've been praying about, and what I've li I'd like to do, and I believe we're gonna do. And if I can log in on a time, like really lock in by the Holy Spirit, so that I can be consistent every week. Maybe even Zoom live through Streamyard, Facebook. However, God shows me to do this. I'd like to open up this book and just go through it. Yeah, online here with everybody and read over it and study it a little bit and look at the verses. Whether you have a book or not, I just want to bring this out into a study because I really feel like God, his hand, even in the timing of it, is so there for us. You know, if anything right now the world needs to know in the body of Christ, us as believers, is that he doesn't change. You know, his whole purpose of, of Christ coming to the earth was his, the greatness of his love for each one of us, and it continues to be that way. 
and a lot of it has to do with how we're responding and I believe in these last days the last of the last end days and the times we're in God does want us to experience his peace um, his joy righteousness the kingdom you know he wants to manifest fruit by his Holy Spirit where we didn't have patience you know, where we couldn't seem to find meekness or a gentle spirit, a gentle answer when somebody says to us, like, we're at a heightened place right now where it really is our how are we going to respond, you know, and where are we going to take that stand with God. So let's go ahead and pray. And I just wanted to introduce this again, the book, uh, The Excellence of God's Love. The sermons were written and taught in Soldiers for Christ Discipling Ministries, Tampa, Florida in 2013. They started January 2013 and they went all the way through January 2014. But my life was so busy and I, at the time and working and I had lost, again, I don't know how I did it, but I lost an entire website. <laughs> I managed to delete years and years of stuff somehow by hitting one button I guess and they couldn't retrieve it and then um, there was some other things with MySpace when they shut down and Facebook started I guess there was just this limited time window of when you could transfer all your stuff over before you lost your stuff so 2006 this is the, this is where it's at. I've been blogging, writing for free. I mean, I had Gideon's Army WordPress, which was totally free with followers and everything, where I would do it of the Spirit. I would do a daily devotion based on the scripture that God gave me, an example from my life, and also an example that anybody from, gosh, five years old to 85 years old could relate to based on what the Holy Spirit would give me. And they were in there every day for well over a year and there was a lot of teachings on there so hopefully we can gain some of it back we're starting with the book from 2013 to 2014 and in just a, a basic but in-depth study of the excellence of God's love and we'll do that online together I want to read some we'll pull up some scriptures whether it's zoom or on here again we're going to do that and then I'm also going to post a link of where you can purchase it I know the ebook's a little bit less if you like like Kindle and ebook it is on Amazon so and it's ready to go they said it's it's time anybody can buy it now so I'll post that link and again if you were there from 2013 to 2014 under the teaching of these um, sermons and messages then hold on because I'm definitely I have a list of names and I'm going to get a, a copy to you and then if some here's another thing here in my heart Crystal had to back me up on this because she's like hey you can't just give everything away you're not working and stuff like that right now anybody at all wants this and does not have money please message me please don't ever I'm here in my heart don't ever let it be about money never we'll figure it out you know we'll figure it out don't ever not get something from this ministry or from me because you don't have money if it comes to your growth and what God wants to do in your life okay so I will be updating you I'm going to update my regular wall because a lot of people answered on there about the book but I'm going to update us on here on Soldiers for Christ about how and when we're going to get started on this and how we're going to do it and just uh yeah, go through this book together, amen, just like it's 2013. For such a time as now, I was like, Lord, now? And it was one of the very few things that was still in my um, in my briefcase of God messages and stuff was this. So, all right, well, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your amazing love for us. We thank you for the excellence of who you are, for your hand being upon us, for your word prevailing in our lives, God. Right now, we lift one another up for miracles, for answers, for your provision, for daily bread, for increase in our wisdom with you, for guidance by your spirit, God, that as we weather through the storms of this year and this life and each other's lives and 
everything we're standing for with our relatives and our neighbors and the ministries you've called us to walk in, God, that we will supernaturally feel your mighty hand upon us, that your favor will look upon us, God, during the face of COVID, that you will give the doctors and medical stuff and nurses and families the prayers and the faith and the wisdom god guide us through this season father just as the storm the the uh, lighthouse guides in those um those ships god yeah be our lighthouse god cause our eyes to look upon you thank you jesus bless each and every one Bless our night here in uh, our prayer closet time, God, here in Newport Ritchie on Fridays. Uh, continue to uh, minister to us and lead those that are supposed to be and on our Sundays, God, and whatever you have for each one of us. We thank you for favor. We thank you that you've heard us and that your answers are right there. Yeah, just over the horizon. The new day. Mercy's new, God. Yeah, weeping may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning praise you lord thank you for the book and what you want to do with it and oh just for loving us so much loving us more god thank you jesus we honor you we lift up this nation the nations of the earth god we lift up our brothers and sisters our military those that are fighting those in the mission fields our family our bloodline we lifted up the church the body of christ everything in this earth god we say have your way make a way lord because you're just that awesome and just that good we honor you father thank you jesus thank you god worthy is your name praise you jesus yes lord hallelujah thank you god Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless you, bless you. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your stand with God. I, we've all encouraged one another. Yeah, you're welcome, darling, anytime. Thank you for your prayers. Let's keep standing for one another. That's what God has us here for. Yeah. He said in Ephesians 6, when you've done all you know to do, stand. <laughs> so we're going to keep standing. God's blessings. Love you all. Thank you so much. God's blessings. Thank you. Bye-bye.